Hi guys, we're heading towards Oslo uh, for the biggest uh, Scandinavian boat fair. It's called Båter i Sjøen in Norwegian. We're gonna check out the uh, traditional gas-powered boats, obviously, and but there's also quite a lot of electric boats present there this year, so that's exciting. We're gonna visit them and talk with them, and it's gonna be really cool to see uh, some new technology present on, the, on this boat fair. So. We're riding towards Oslo now, and this is my colleague, Stolle. Excited for this. So there we are. Are you ready? I'm ready. Yeah, so now we're approaching uh, the boat fair. We're so excited <laughs> to see the, the latest technology and the latest uh, boats out there. <laughs> So here's one of the electric boats here uh, this year, it's a Strana. It's uh, powered by Sea Drive electric drive lines, which is also a part of the electric boating business network. Oh, this is a beauty. This is a real beauty. So here's the Ram the boats. Those two guys are fully electric. This is the second brand of electric boats we have spotted so far on this uh, boat fair. So I'm standing here with Green Waves. They have their uh, 601 fully electric boat right there. Is there any interest for electric boats on this boat fair? Absolutely. We see a lot of people coming by the boat and standing for a long period of time talking with us and, and wanting to learn how it works uh, with both the charging and, uh, and the range and the speed and uh, what kind of batteries. They are asking all kinds of questions and we are experiencing that they stand and talk to us for several minutes and that's very interesting and uh, we think it's good to see that people are opening up their eyes for electric boats. This is one of the cheaper boats on this fair uh, actually. Okay, you're obviously here to sell boats as well. Are you closing any sales do you think? Yeah, we have a very good uh, show sale on the boat for this event and uh, we see a lot of people being very very close. I, I'm pretty confident that we will be able to sell out our uh, amount of boats for this show during this weekend. Uh, we have people uh, almost asking for where the contract is as they stand here and talk to us. So we are very happy with the with the response and I'm pretty sure that we will be selling out for the show. Great. By the way, where's the contract? We don't have it right here. We're online. <laughs> <I'm> we do. <kidding. laughs> oh, thank you. So here we have the free power, it's total solar energy powered. It's actually free to ride, to ride this boat, which is kind of cool. This is a, kind of a slow riding boat, but it's really useful for certain kind of activities. Yeah, it's free of charge to ride actually. Okay, so this motor right here, this is an outboard engine, it's 600 horsepower. Awesome. Okay, so if I were to sum up, our visit at the largest floating boat fair in Scandinavia. I would uh, pick three points. Point number one, electric boating is probably five or 10 years behind electric cars when it comes to technology and access to the marketplace. When the car giants like Volkswagen and GM are phasing out all fossil technologies within the next five or 10 years from now, that should be a pointer to the boating industry of where we're heading. So the trend for motors this year is obviously quite large outboard gas motors. The coolest boats on the fair had at least two of those or even three. So I kind of like those. I mean, I like speed, I like, like acceleration, but I think there's gonna be pretty soon some electric motors that have at least or even better performance than their fossil counterparts. So that's gonna come. And it doesn't have to take forever to uh, establish the market for electric boating. I mean, in Norway 10-ish years ago, we had below 2% market share of electric cars. And today we have more than 80%. And that's 10 year time span. And you know, there were already eight boats with electric powertrain at this fair. Just a few years ago, there were none. So there is something going on. Point number two, everyone seems to think there is a green shift coming at some point. 
So there is, however, a huge difference in how people perceive the short-term perspective and the long-term perspective in the boat market. Asking people to describe how they think the boat market is going to be in like 2040 or 2050, most people believe there has been a green shift going on uh, until that time. And it is kind of inevitable given all the drivers in the market right now. In the short term though, people tend to focus on all the barriers, all the problems. So there is a hassle with the batteries, charging infrastructure, reach, price and so forth. And that is kind of like it was with electric cars 10 years ago. We face this paradox right now that sustainable electric boating is perceived both as inevitable and impossible at the same time, which is quite interesting. Third point, people caring about sustainable boating should cooperate with the established industry. So many of the folks in the environmental movement do not seem to understand where the pushback is coming from, from the traditional industry. Yes, the development probably has to be pushed by startups and new players in the market, having sustainability as a core element in their business model. But as market research suggests, most groundbreaking industrial shifts are achieved through a cooperation between new players and the cutting edge expertise in the traditional industry. So I'm on a mission to help both sides engage in a meaningful dialogue that would benefit Norway and the entire boating industry. So thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you the next time.